Like, totally, girl. Yeah, two talent strikes me as a valley girl. Magic stirs within the device. Touch it! <laughs> the device is my butt. Don't touch it. Butt touch it. They have Wraith Walls, too. It looks nice. That was real pretty. You look pretty. No. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> what was that thing? A contraption you'd find in all but the most rudimentary ancient ruins. One touch and off you're whisked to not know to you know not where. Blech. The finer points of the operation elude me, but they're handy all the same. What's more need What more need a sky pirate know? The sentence structure is very like uh, affluent and fancy. So, we not fancy. And we not fancy. Like, I, I'm gonna shock everybody and let you guys in on a secret. We not fancy up in here. So, these people talking all fancy and I'm all trying to meet the, meet the fanciness. And I'm not good at that. Oh. Oh, am I ready for this? Uh, you wanna go grind some more? Can you leave this area and grind? Yeah, I can. Well, go grind until you feel comfortable. I'm gonna try it first. Okay, did you save? Yeah. Yeah. I saved right right before I quit last night. Alright, if ally status... If ally HP less than 30%... Kira... That needs to go above 50%. Alright, let's try it. Wow, I stopped at the right spot. I literally stopped like an inch before the trigger. or run. We better decide fast. How about some of this? some of this. I must endure. Mist abilities are super good. Oh, he did zone on me. Wow, rip! <laughs> the guy cast X zone. All right. Well, that's uh, Fran, I guess. Oh, I gotta sit Vaughn down. Yeah, I can't I can't fix that easily. She has this. Let's see if we can recycle some more. Apparently not. 
more than she would have done normally. We were so close. Yeah, I did like 114,000 damage with that first strike. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's good. Without that, I don't think you would have been as close, though. No. <laughs> Alright, let's go back out and do a little more grinding. Like, I can run away from these guys, this, the wall. I don't have to, I don't have to fight it. But... But you wanna. I wanna, and I wanna kill it. So in that case, we're going to sit Balthier down, and we're going to take Ash with us. actually went this way. Let's go over here and see if there's anything cool. I'm sure Final Fantasy XII was not on the PS2. I think it was on the PS3. Also, hey Baka. Why am I glowing pink? I am currently silenced. Yeah, they're owl bears, but with armor. stairs first. This was on the PS2? Damn, it looks good for being on the PS2. This must have been at the end of the life of the PS2. Once, when they finally mastered it. 
mastered the hardware and everything. It's always interesting to look at games that come out on a uh, on a console near the beginning of its lifespan, and then on the con on the same console at the end of its lifespan. And the games look like they're built on two different consoles. Alright, that was Ash, I think, that leveled up. Well, if this was on the last year of the PS2's life, then that means 13 was on the PS3. It was. Okay. Because I know I played that on the PS3. And that's why I finally got it on Steam, is because I can't play it anywhere else anymore because the PS3 died. Yeah. PS3 was really prone to dying. It was really sad. Like, we were definitely not the only people whose PS3 just died out of nowhere. Well, luckily our PS3 died right after we got a, a PS4. Oh, yeah, money. and like 90% of PS3 games can be played on the PS4, yeah. so... It lost to Oblivion? This game looks way better than Oblivion. Like, Oblivion is probably, like, technology, like, technical-wise, Oblivion is a bigger... is a bigger, uh, <laughs> achievement because of how massive that game was. But that should be for, like, graphical achievement, not necessarily graphic quality. But yeah, this game looks significantly better than Oblivion. <laughs> but Elder Scrolls games also get a lot of, uh... A lot of leeway on stuff that other titles don't get solely because they're Elder Scrolls. People are always giving the Elder Scrolls games a hard time. They're like, they're so buggy and there's all this, that, and the other. And I'm like, yeah, but Elder Scrolls is enormous. All the games have been gigantic in scale, so it's like... <laughs> it's expected what the war- the awards are expected, or the scale of the game is expected? Because if you're going to say the awards are expected, I'm like, well, screw that. Nobody should win an award because it's expected. That's bullshit. <laughs> oh, the bugs. Oh, I got you. That being said, I would be shocked if the new Dune movie didn't win some awards this year. I know Trika wasn't a huge fan, but it was awesome. Man, they are just slapping the crap Yeah, they're big fans of the slap. You haven't watched it yet? This is really good. I'm gonna watch it again. an underhanded way of saying that you that it's probably going to get awards by saying well there's not enough there's not a lot of movies that came out
That's like saying, like, yeah, it'll win awards, nothing else came out, so what else is it going to compete with? It sucked, but it doesn't have any competition. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> no! <laughs> I wouldn't have quite worded it that way. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, I think this is actually where I grinded last time, because all these things give me over 100 XP each. And they respawn relatively quick. Plus they give a lot of dead drops. Yeah, they do. Have I watched Squid Game? No, Cappy and I are actually thinking of starting that tomorrow. We did finish Dark, though. I should domesticate the bird so that I get free eggs. <laughs> Cultivation is more profitable in the long run. Yeah, but I don't get experience off of Cultivation. I'm doing this for experience, not for money. Look at all these traps, dude. This game just wants me to die. And I'll set one off. There we go. I'll slowly, like, each time I come over here, I'll set another one off so that they're not there. Those don't respawn. Thankfully. Well, they respawn if you leave the zone and come back, but they don't respawn the same way the enemies do. I could breed them? Yeah, man, let's just do like we do with, with real chickens and breed them for meat. Meat and feathers. Well, and eggs until they die, yeah. Hey, fellas. We must come to fight. Also, I'm gonna get a crap load of license points after this, too. Oh, yeah. That's kind of more what I would be getting for grinding. Like, right now, you want to be able to, like, buff your dudes. Now, that was the perfect view, just Rand's butt. Oh, yeah. That's there it. it is. <laughs> Bunny butt. I forget her race. Viera or something like that? What are the bunny people called in Final Fantasy XIV? Are they Viera? Or is that a different... Or are they called something else in fourteen? Also, what world are you in? Are you in a world that exists in another game? Or is it a brand new world for fourteen? Somebody here has to play Final Fantasy XIV. Did that, like, do a lot of damage to me? No, I'm just saying their helmets have spikes on them. They should be... Oh! <laughs> I'm dumb.
Hey, what's up, bird brain? Yes, I made a jump. I sure did, buddy. It wasn't a good one. It's actually pretty uncommon for Final Fantasies to reuse their worlds. They do it very rarely. I want to say they, re they reused the world in Final Fantasy 1 once or twice. <laughs> Ivalice is not in five games. There's no way it's in five games. And we're not including games like 10 and 10-2, or 13, 13, 2, and Lightning Returns. Those don't count. No, they're they're There's they're one game that's just extended. Ivalice is not in 10-2. 10-2 is, uh... Oh, what's the world called in 10? I forget what it's called, but it's whatever the world was in 10. I just remember Xanarkand. Yeah, Xanarkand, yeah. That's a city, but... Yeah, I know. Uh... If they only have wings and no hands, or fingers, who makes their armor? They do. They have very dexterous feet. Take a look at their feet when I'm fighting them. Ivalice is in 10 games. 12 Tactics, Vagrant Story. Vagrant Story is not a Final Fantasy story. Uh, not a Final Fantasy game, though. No, I would not. Call, that's not Final Fantasy. So. Maybe a Square Onyx. Square yeah, Enix it may game. be a Square Enix game, but it's, it's not Final Fantasy. Here, heal us. Or yourself. Revenant wings? Reverent wings? What is reverent wings? Crystal Defenders, Vanguard Storm, and Forge. What the hell are these games? Spinoff is not a Final Fantasy game, though. Yeah, I it's, would. It's its own separate thing, I in would, my opinion. I would consider, t while I consider Tactics a Final Fantasy game, I don't consider it a JRPG. Although, your I guess my question and your answer do technically stand. Like they don't reuse worlds that often, and apparently they do in Evilies. Is it the same Evilies though? Like, is it still Rabinaster and? 
Dalmasca and all that stuff. Because it would be kind of cheating if it was if they called the world Evil East, but everything was completely different. <laughs> then I'd be like, okay, that's not really the same world. That's a different world with the same name. Trika, it's patience, man. That's how they do it. Fourteen is also Ivalice. Makes more sense that they outsource their armor making, but to whom? The Moogles. They're very industrious, right? Oh yeah. Moogles are insane. And not just like, oh man, these things, these guys are crazy. But like, there, there are some Moogles that are literally insane. <laughs> Reverent Wings is a direct sequel to Final Fantasy XII. I didn't even know that. Never even heard of the game. Half of those games I hadn't heard. Well, not half of them, but like. Wasn't Crystal Defenders the multiplayer GameCube game? Yeah, I remember one on the GameCube that had to be played like multiplayer. It wasn't very fun. Wasn't very popular, no. You could do it single player, but it was ridiculously hard. Because you had to toggle between all the characters. Because, like, you had to carry a... Like, the world was infected by this fog or something. And you had to carry a crystal with you that would disperse the fog in your area. And if you didn't have one of the players carry the crystal, everybody would take damage. It was a really stupid idea. It was just a really forced way to do multiplayer. Like, most people didn't want multiplayer at the time, and multiplayer wasn't very popular. Like, now nowadays, so many games have multiplayer. Final Fantasies definitely didn't. Well, that's, yeah, that's like saying, like, who normally picks up a JRPG and goes, I want to play this with three of my friends? You know, everybody yeah. who plays a JRPG, like, the vast majority of them are assuming they're going to do it by themselves. Like, MMORPG stuff notwithstanding. JRPG? Yeah, that's this style of game. It's, that is what it stands for, Japanese RPG, yes. Because there's so many games that qualify as RPGs, like a Mass Effect game is an RPG now. Um... But like turn-based RPGs, turn-based combat-focused RPGs. It cannot end us. Oh wow! That bull just killed me. Oh, we'll do Frank for now. Hey, Bosch is back. Come wake me up. Bossler, come here. Oh, hey, that guy shot me. Cool. 
Thank you. <laughs> what a stone, can I use it to evolve Geodude? How long after Critical War streams do they put it on YouTube? I think it goes up Monday. I think so. It's either Monday or Tuesday. I forget. I know their podcast is is a week. So if you want to listen to the podcast, it's not until next Thursday. 13-2 had Pokemon, which was cool. Uh, most people who played Final Fantasy probably disagreed with you on that. It was okay. It I was... played, played 13 2 a couple of times. Did you? Yeah. And it, it basically was... Uh, the it... thing I didn't like about it is... Well, no, I complained a lot about the monsters. Because you only got two party members and then your third party member was a, a monster. So you'd have to catch them and then you combine them to make stronger or, or whatever and... Holy I crap, just, Cure is way better than Cure. Never mind. I just didn't enjoy spending all of my time trying to capture monsters. I yeah. wanted to play Final Fantasy. Yeah, you wanted to play Final Fantasy, not Pokemon. Plus, they really, really nerfed the steep. Or the step. S-T-E-P-P-E. -E. Step. The step. And I hated that because in Final Fantasy XIII, the step was this huge, immense, uh, 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 massive, like, area. It was the main area of the game, basically. And in 13-2, they made it like, I don't know, it felt like it was like a fifth of the size. It was, it was tiny. I'm trying to remember if this place is the biggest place in the game, or if the the first place you run into Malboros is. I, I can't remember. Owie. That was a bad one to choose. <laughs> Because you run into Malboros for the first time uh, in one area, and the area is like this, it's like an enormous step. It's a, oh, yeah. it's a huge... Yeah, I think they just stopped spawning monsters here. The game will do that eventually if it notices that you're farming. I guess you can leave the area and then come back, though. You have to leave for a while, yeah. Oh. It'll put a timer on that particular zone. Though. Yeah, yeah, there are. You just go to a different section, fight that until it stops spawning. The cigarette company? No. There's no R in it. Well, there's, there is an R in it, but the first R is missing. It's not Marlboro. It's Malboro. Oh, I thought you. I thought he actually dropped a pouch, and I didn't see it. No, nope, no, nope, just like he. he dro I was like, oh no, he dropped his weapon. He dieted. What are my levels? Uh, Ash can sit down. Penelo should come out. Yeah, Pinello should come out. Go get it, Pinello. Kill it. Yeah, Malboros are brutal. They use an attack called Bad Breath. Also known as Oscar. Yeah. I think there's one specific Malboro called Oscar. Gambits does Pinello have? A lot. Good. Okay. If foe. Wow, rip. Alright, we're gonna have to go buy Gambits eventually. <laughs> That's useless. 
I don't have any gambits that help her cast magic. You thought it was because they look like Oscar from Sesame Street? I mean, maybe, but... Which one's Oscar? The trash the, can? Yeah, that's the guy that lives in the trash can. Okay. Oscar the Grouch. Of course I'm grouchy, I live in the trash! <laughs> I loved the SNL sketch. Oh, yeah, with what's-his-name? With, uh, what was that guy's name? Has his Hellboy come out yet? Yeah. It has? I think so. I want to watch that. I don't think it that. did very well. That's sad. Hellboy's good. Was it- it wasn't Guillermo del Toro, was it? That directed it? Yeah. I don't think so. I thought Guillermo del Toro did the originals. He did. He did the first three. But maybe he did. I don't. I don't know. No, there are only two. Well, these are ranged guys, they don't want to get close. I know. What's he casting? Oh, he's dead. Sounded <laughs> like I said pushing. Give me cat time. You just want Final Fantasy 16? Me too, dude. Yeah, it won't be until next year. Easy. Come here, fish dude. Fish sticks. Is That's that his I name? Mean. Imagine them surprise releasing it. That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> That's the last thing Square Enix is gonna do. Surprise release a game. <laughs> They're far more likely to surprise delay it. Like, hey, I know you guys are excited that Final Fantasy 16 is coming out next week. Well, guess what? Three more months delay. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't there, wasn't there like a massive delay between uh, 12 and 13, I think. Maybe. But I want to say it had, like, a significant delay, like it was, like, a year or a year and a half delayed or something. Twelve and thirteen had a huge delay, but thirteen and fifteen also did. Well, between thirteen and fifteen is a little different because they worked on fourteen. In between, even though it was an MMO, you still had a lot of people in the same group doing it. Square Enix is Square Enix is the publisher. Who's the developer? Both. Square Enix makes Final Fantasy and publishes Final Fantasy. It is both. They do publish other non-Square Enix developed games, though. You didn't know they had developers there? Yeah, they were developers long before they were publishers. <laughs> or at least long before they were publishing non-Square Enix developed games, I mean. Tell me how old you are without telling me how old you are. My bones hurt. I was gonna say, 
I remember when all the Final Fantasy games were developed and published by Square. Not Square Enix. Just Square. The difference between 11 and 12 was four years. The difference between 14 and 15 was six years. The wait between from 15 to 16 is now the longest. How long how long ago did 15 come out? Somebody's gonna come out and be like, 14 years! I'm gonna be all like, what the fuck? I think you're lying. 2016? That's it's it has not been 2016 years since Final Fantasy 15. That is a gross exaggeration. <laughs> well, it's not the question I asked. I said, how many years has it been? And you said 2016. That's a lot of years. The game has not been in development for two millennia. <laughs> That's insane. Nobody would buy it. How Not even Duke Nukem. Huh? The world's only 2021 years old. Oh my god. <laughs> Happy birthday, America. It will be the longest once 16 is released. It'll be five. It's been five years, but it'll be six or more upon release. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean it will be the longest. Because if it comes out in January. Uh, it'll be like six years or five years, one month. What's what the that? Fuck? Oh, it's a bomb, a mega bomb. Libra will not work on it. It's got a little X over the Libra si sign up there. I guess <sighs> is it gonna be like the other thing? Where you, or I guess you can hit it once and see how you do, and then start running. <laughs> What's well, casting fire? Oh no, it doesn't seem so bad. Unless it explodes. Bigger. No. Oh no, that's it. Don't blow up, don't blow up, don't blow up, boy. Don't do it, don't do it. Hey, we killed it. Oh, phew. Three LP, nice. Sorry, I started, I started looking at your uh, bar above your head and my brain went, Oh my god, did they heal? Yeah. I saw it go no. yellow and then I switched <laughs> to looking at your bar that was green and I can't. I totally, I totally feel you. I was a little nervous during that. <laughs> yeah, you do not want to, you do not want that bomb to explode in your face. No. It didn't look like it would be pleasant. It would not be. Yeah. Why can't they go back to the time when they were releasing one Final Fantasy every year? Have you seen what these games look like? You can't make one of these in a year. It's the same reason why uh, Assassin's Creed fans started getting disillusioned with an Assassin's Creed game every year. Because the game's quality slowly started going down and down and down and down. And then they finally announced, we're going to shelve Assassin's Creed for like four or five years, and all the fans were like, yay, thank you. We don't want a lot fast, we want, you know, yes, good, exactly. good quality, long game. And they delivered that with Origins and then Odyssey. And... Yeah. I'd be happy two or three years between games. Mm -hmm. Assassin's Creed are not very good. Bro, you got to be more specific with your statements, dude. Do you mean during that period of time they were not very good? Or do you mean Assassin's Creed in general is not very good?
The ones that I've seen you play. So every Assassin's Creed game. I'm beginning to think Trika doesn't have the same taste as Yeah, I'm beginning to think Trika has bad tastes. Yeah, Dune is whatever. Much more understandable. Dune sucks. Like, I don't Assassin's- think... all the Assassin's Creed games you've played have sucked, so all of them. Well... I mean, someone had to say it. Well... Trika got bad taste! <laughs> well, that a big boy. Cool. Yeah. Thank God. You did not like the one in Egypt or the one in Athens. Yeah. Wow. Those were some of my favorites. Those are some of the best ones. Yeah. Those are like in the top five. For a lot of people, yeah. I'm going to play Assassin's Creed 2 and make Trika watch and at the end he's going to go, this game sucks. And I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> or Brotherhood. Brotherhood was the best one. Uh, what did you do to him? Slap. Do it. No thanks. Maybe eventually, but not anytime soon. Oh, there's a treasure. Yeah, I got it. Oh, that one. Wow, rip. I didn't get that. I saw one. I did it. If I looked at their new IP Immortals, who's new IP? <laughs> We've been talking about a lot of game companies today. Well, we talked about two. Game, so it felt like a lot. It did. Ubisoft Phoenix Immortals Rising. Oh, is that the one that looks like a cross between God of War and Ancient Greece, kinda? Well, that's weird, because God of War was Greece, but... I don't know. It looked weird. Do you want me to be honest? It looked like they were trying too hard to make a game that looked cool. Maybe it is actually cool. But... The trailers were, were set up in such a way where they were like, LOOK HOW COOL THIS IS! OH MY GOD, SO COOL! And I was like, If you come out of the gate and you're like, OH MY GOD, SO COOL! WE'RE COOL! Aren't we cool, kids? I was like, eh... Tone it down a bit. Rolling polies. <laughs> Go hit him. The trailers were off putting. Okay. I don't know. Ocar no, not, not Ocarina of Time. Breath of the Wild didn't actually seem that exciting to me. I know I'm going to piss a lot of people off by saying that. Yeah, but you're not a huge, like, Zelda. I mean, you played a lot of Zeldas, but that was because I was like, Matt, play the Zelda. I want to watch you play it. And you're just like, okay. I'm more of an old school Zelda fan. Dungeon yeah. crawling kind of stuff. Uh, and people are like, it's like Skyrim. And I was like, mmm, that's, you are saying the wrong thing to interest me in this game. <laughs> it's Zelda, but Skyrim. And I was like, see, that's, that's bad. That's a bad description. I enjoyed watching it get played. It was fun. Like when I bought a Zelda, I bought the Yeah, yeah, exactly. So. See, this guy headbutted me. 
But he's only got like a cloth cap. Bad decision, friend. Yeah, that's why I said the... The owls need to do the that. Owls The dungeons are mostly puzzle based. Eh. <laughs> See? It's that kind of stuff that's like people try to. People are telling me all the things about the game and they're things that are interesting to them, but it's things that are less exciting to me. It's, it's like slowly and slowly making it less and less likely that I'll play the game. <laughs> Did I finish Legend of Grimrock? No. No, I did not. I think there's a bunch of fish over here. Have I tried playing any of the Tomb Raider games? No. I'm gonna do what I normally do and say the old ones or the new ones? And then wait for you to respond and then say, I don't know why I asked that question because the answer is no to both. <laughs> I have a weird habit of doing that. When people ask me questions, I want them to get more specific, but I don't know why, because the answer is the same regardless. Oh, you have Cura too. Uh, Antidote. How about Alien Isolation? Shut up, Two Town! <laughs> Rise of the TR. What's TR stand for? Yeah. Oh, Tomb Raider. Oh, yeah, okay. That makes sense. Ow. Fran cancelled cure. Oh, it's because I got too far away. I think at that point, Fran, you should cast Kira. It's too bad there's not a uh, there's not a gambit for if multiple allies health less than 50%. Protect. Well, I'm not gonna help you. I'm gonna stab you in the butt. Yeah, stab him in the pooper. Well, he's a bird, so he's probably got a cloaca. Yeah, you're trying to get to his uh, to his uh, <laughs> eggs. I don't think that's how that works. I don't think that's how that works either, Captain. Yeah. I was I was trying to get to his eggs. I'm like uh. It was the one with cannibalism, and his response was, that was a good game. <laughs> that can be taken out of context so many ways. Oh, you were talking about the game I mentioned. Okay. <laughs> what was the best part about that game? Cannibalism. Damn, dude, you're dark.
All right, so when I when I do Pinello's, uh, no, Pinello has gambits. I needed to buy the gambits. Okay. Correct. What are we doing for levels? 16 R. Okay, you sit down. You guys come up. There we go. What's up, dog? What level is he? 22! Good lord! Bossler? Yeah! Yeah. Bossler's ripped! Yeah! He's meant to be ripped? Oh, yeah, motivation. Cannonball? Is that the response to that? Am I going the right way? Oh, it's the same to me. Where are you? There you are. I see you. I found you. <laughs> I see you. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Mathematically speaking, I should theoretically be catching up to him in levels, but the game seems to want to keep him ahead of me. Yeah. That's okay with I'm okay with that. Right. The wall. Yeah, exactly. Are the buildings corn silos? No, they're oil silos. Yeah, no, I, I knew he could level up, but what I meant was every time you level up, the experience required to reach the next level goes up. Uh, so, in theory, you should be able to slowly catch up to higher level people because lower... some Like, I'm six levels under him, right? So me leveling up should happen more rapidly than Vossler because I need less experience to level up for each level compared to his levels. Uh, so in theory, I should be catching up, but he's been staying a solid six levels ahead the whole time. Yeah. You think I can catch him at 26? I don't think so. Because we've leveled four times since he's joined my party, and I have not ca caught a single level up on him yet. So the fact that I would catch four levels on him in the next four levels seems highly unlikely. <laughs> oh hey, nobody's... nobody in this party heals. Yep. Well, that's an issue. You know what it probably is? It's probably the fact that I'm cycling through characters. I didn't think that. If I focused on th three characters the whole time, I probably would have caught up to him. But I keep cycling through to try to keep my party at roughly the same level. Yeah, which makes more sense in the long run. It does. So. It does. That's my mistake. I shouldn't be catching up to him. Trying to go to the tomb and then rape yeah. Now. Yeah, I want to make it make it back slowly that way. We need to head west so that I can save and regain my MP. Like my MP slowly regenerates on its own, but it's real slow. It's like one MP every six seconds or something. <laughs> Oh, he's dead. 
I think what I used to do when I used to play this game is I would keep two party members always the same, and I would swap out the third to level them up. So, like, I would keep Vaughn and probably Ash and seize my white mage. And let's be honest, you want the storyline's main character to be the high level, and you want your white mage to be high level. And if other people are lower level, it's not the end of the world. I'll call them chicken wings. This guy's name is Lemon Pepper. You call him Lem for short. But they're all main characters. Yeah, but when you're walking into a, a into a place with the party, if Vaughn is in your party, it it yeah. automatically switches to Vaughn every time. So Vaughn is the main character. He's the primary antagonist. Yeah. Protagonist. Yeah. Sorry. Protagonist. He's the primary fuck Vaughn. <laughs> Let's get him killed. Okay. What do you want fighting the wall? What a sucky primary protagonist. Well, that's Final Fantasy for you. I mean, I would have argued Titus is way worse. Yeah, yeah. He's not the worst, but he's on the realm of bad. Do you think Titus is better? I don't think so. I mean, Titus might be better um, mentality-wise, but yeah. Titus is not better... My dad, <laughs> yeah, he... That's okay. Yeah, that's true. He's Spider-Man. Titus is to Final Fantasy what Spider-Man is to Marvel superheroes. I like that I said that and your, your brain clicked and you went, oh yeah, I forgot about that part. My dad! <laughs> every every five minutes with him, he's crying about his dad. It's like, dude, you have you in a, like... This I don't see Orin crying. Yeah. But some people like Spider-Man. But those people are wrong. Spider-Man's terrible. <laughs> I think the problem is, is that Square Enix tries to make, uh... He does whatever a spider can. Well... Apparently spiders can suck! Um... Sorry. <laughs> uh, Square Enix tries to make the primary protagonist of their games relatable to their, to their primary target audience, which is young uh, men. So like 18 to 25 or whatever. And so they make all the characters young men, but the best storyline they can come up with for them is, uh, I don't like my life. Uh, I'm angsty.
Why don't make why don't they make them young women? Well, I mean they have recently. The main protagonist in 13 13 2 in Lightning Returns was female. Oh yeah, Ten Two. The primary character was female. Ten, it was Titus, and in Ten Two, it was Yuna. Yeah. I don't think they're actually going to make it 10-3. That's still just rumors. I felt like Ted, 10 had a good end, and then they made 10-2, and I was like, well, that's okay. And then I watched 10-2, or I played 10-2, and I was like, well, that's a good end to the story. They confirmed that they want to, whatever the hell that means. Yeah. We want to make a 10-3. Well, did Square Enix say that, or did the uh, did the director of 10 and 10-2 say that? Because those are two completely different things. The director said it. Okay. Well, that's different. Yeah. <laughs> Just because the director wants to do it doesn't mean we're any of this. That's like we're maybe two percent closer to actually getting the game. Then. You usually play a female character because of the voice. I have to admit, most games where they give you an option for a female or a male protagonist. The voice acting on the females tend to be better, generally speaking. It was like that in Mass Effect. Uh, it was like that in both of the Assassin's Creeds where you could choose male or female. Because you could do that in Odyssey and Valhalla. And I've listened to the female characters in both, compared to the male characters, and the female ones sound better. 